What is up YouTube? Thrift School over here outside the thrift store. We're gonna head inside, see what we can find to buy and sell on eBay and Amazon. Let's go. All right, looks like 50% off everything besides yellow. So that's pretty nice. All right, here's the little video game section. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5 used to be worth a lot. Uh, I don't know if it still is. We'll grab it for four bucks though. Eight bucks for Bioshock's a pretty bad deal. Uh, Skate 3, that's a pretty fun game. But four bucks, I don't think so. Uh, rugby 18, that's kind of odd. You never see rugby games. I don't think it's worth much, but we'll stick it in here. What else do we got? Call of Duty Ghosts, no. Uh, Tiger Woods 10, no. Uh, what is this, Dance Cheer? Never seen that, doubt it's worth anything. We'll leave all those. We have some box sets over here. We have Futurama. Uh, it looks like season one, two, three, and four. It's kind of cool. Four bucks each though. Little high, little high. Lots of different box sets in here. Lost, Rescue Me. I think we're gonna do some scanning. Scanning in here. And then we got all the DVDs behind me. So we're gonna check out all this media first and see what we get. So I put both of the games back, but I did end up grabbing all these Futurama seasons right here, one through four, for $3.99 each. So four, eight, 12, 16 bucks. You guys can take a quick look. Here is all four of them on Amazon. The rank is a little high, but not terrible. And they're selling for 64 bucks for the lot of four. So spending what, 16 to make 45? I will definitely take that. If they were all sealed, they're going for over 100, which is just absolutely crazy. All right, so I'm on the other side of the DVD wall right now, and the cart is not full, but we got a lot of good stuff in here, and I want to give you guys a little heads up. So, in one of my last videos, I talked about DVDs that are more worth it on Blu-ray. We're gonna go the opposite route here. There is a DVD right in here that is more worth it on VHS, and that is this one right here. History of Violence. It's one of the last VHS tapes ever put out. I'll pop the price right up here on the screen for you guys. This thing recently sells for $100 to $150 on VHS DVD. It's not really worth anything, but definitely something cool to keep an eye out for. Another DVD that's not worth it. I don't see it here, but on VHS is worth a lot. I'll pop it up on the screen. Cars. It is the last Disney VHS tape that they put out and it could sell for hundreds if not close to a thousand dollars So definitely keep an eye out for both those VHS tapes. I am very happy with what I got here Just a whole bunch of miscellaneous Really weird things that are just worth money brand new sealed stuff and then some used stuff It's just all worth it and of course those green tags are 50% off So I'm only paying a buck for this all of these I'm paying exactly two dollars for so I'm happy with that We're gonna go check out the rest of the store all right, just cut through the shoe section there and coming around the store, I saw this Rhode Island edition of Monopoly. That's very interesting. It's all taped up, so there's no way to know if it's complete in here. We could always take it apart. It's only $3. That's kind of cool. I don't know. I'll throw it in, the, in my cart for now and I'll have to look a little more into it. All right, we are now at the toys. Hopefully there's something cool in here. Oh, right off the bat, Pandemic is a great game. See somebody was trying to sell it for eight bucks, probably at their yard sale. And what do they want for it here? Two ninety nine. It's half off, so a buck fifty. I don't even think I'm gonna look into it for a buck fifty. That's a pretty good deal. What else? We have a Jenga Truth or Dare. Uh, two dollars. I think I've seen this before. I don't think it's worth much, but two dollars might still be good. I'm gonna have to scan it in. So I just tried scanning it in on my Amazon seller app and nothing, not on Amazon. We're just gonna leave it behind. Um, but we do have a rock tumbler over here and I've sold a rock tumbler before for a couple hundred dollars, I believe on Amazon. So mine was new, this one's open box. They want $3 for it. So let's see if this one's any good. We'll scan it in, see if it's even on Amazon. It might not even be. I got my Amazon seller app pulled up. We'll hit that barcode. And there it is, it's not a great one. Looks like $38 new. It's a lot smaller than the one I sold. 23 bucks after fees. This one's used, uh, so no idea the condition. It sounds like there's a bunch of stuff in there. We'll just leave that one behind. What else do we have? We have some Fusca balls. What is this? Is that a baby Groot? 
What's he doing here? So both of these are, this one's $2, this one's $1.50 on the Fusket Balls, and here it is on Amazon with a great rank. Looks like it's selling for $28 new. There's nobody selling it used. So you could probably throw it up for $25 or something like that and still make about $13 or so. Uh, not bad. It's a pretty easy $10 profit. So it could be a quick $20 if they are complete, which I don't know if they are. I don't know the condition of them. Uh, do I just take the gamble? Maybe make 20 bucks or maybe lose about $2.50, $3? Uh, yeah, I'll take the gamble. Why not? So I'm not sure what's going on with my phone, but I'm getting absolutely okay. no service, even though I have full service. So I threw a couple things in the cart that aren't loading up. We have a sealed puzzle right here for $2 since it's half off. And we got another one right here that's sealed, the 60s. This one is $4, not bad. They're both pretty cool. This Big Bang Theory was the last thing I was able to look up and it is six dollars but half off selling for about 20 so not bad and then this dremel kit i think we're getting for ourselves uh 35 dollars it's brand new sealed the last one that sold on ebay sold for a hundred dollars and it was opened up so that's not bad it's going to be a personal use though what else do we have up here we have magic school bus chemistry lab is this the oh, i thought it was sealed it's not it's all taped up uh what else do we got mouse trap sudoku Sudoku, Sudoku. Oh, wow, this is heavy duty. This might be good. We'll have to look into this. What do they want? $2.99, but half off. The prices are pretty great today, so a buck fifty. Yeah, we'll try to see if we get some service in here. All right, so I'm still at the toy section, and as you can see, the car is starting to get a little full. It's looking really good. Prices are great. This Risk board game right here is only 99 cents. We got Playmobil toys right here for 99 cents. Uh, Kerplunk, 99 cents. These things are great. Uh, this, I have been trying to figure out what these were for decades now. I had these growing up and Creepy Freaks, I guess. Creepy Freaks! One of the grossest games ever. Chunky Sneak Attack! Silent but deadly attack. You can collect and trade all 56 Creepy Freaks. Available in these fine stores. I, I don't know. It's not really worth anything, but it just reminded me of being a child, so I'm buying them. And what do we have down here? I see a bunch of Playmobil figures, other action figures for $2.99. see some Star Wars in here. That seems like a good deal. We'll throw that in the cart too. You know, when the prices are good, I go a little crazy and I just start buying everything. So we're gonna keep, oh, we have another risk up here, $2.99. I mean, that's a pretty good deal. We'll throw that in the cart. What else do we got up here? Anything else? Oh, Jumanji, is this the original? Oh, Brewopoly. It's a beer monopoly for $3. We'll throw that in the cart. And, uh, Oh, 13 Dead End Drive, $2.99. It's not a bad price, we'll look into that. We're just gonna have to start scanning now though, cause, well, I guess the prices don't matter, it's about my space. How much space do I have? I had this guy too as a kid. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. What is this, a Dr. Seuss painting kit? A SpongeBob SquarePants uh, pinball, that's pretty cool. A big Zerg. There is just so, look at that little green guy right there. He's cool. Oh my gosh, a Grogu. That's cool. He doesn't work. I guess we'll leave him behind since he doesn't work. All right, so there's definitely a lot of stuff I haven't been able to look up, but the cart is, <laughs> look at that. Ashley can't even look over the cart. It is so dang packed with stuff, but these prices are just astronomically good today. So I figured I just have to load up 99 cents for most things. So we're just gonna load up. This is all gonna go to Amazon uh, within the next day or two. So it, it's awesome. We're gonna check out a little bit more of the store, but I think they close at six. And it's, oh. Attention customers, oh. the time is now 545. Remember, Red and Blue will be closing in 15 minutes. Yep, Once again, so we we'll gotta go. All right, so our cart was so full, I had to grab a second cart. And we're gonna have to put a bunch of the overflow board games into this cart because they're closing in 10 minutes and I feel a little bad, but I don't feel terrible. <laughs> I'm very stoked and uh, haven't been here in a little bit, so I'm really glad I came today. And you guys will see how overflowing, I didn't even get to go check out the electronics, but there's my cart. Like, come on, that's, that's 
insane. All right, so I just left the thrift store and I had to get two carts, as you guys saw, and they both are filled. It is pretty crazy. And uh, we're gonna load it up into the trunk right here. No bags, no boxes. Everything's just gonna have to get stocked up, stacked up. And uh, yeah, not a, not a bad price, about $200 for all of this. Definitely worth it, super stoked. All right, we are back at the house and the trunk is absolutely loaded. We did so good today. I just have to make sure all of these are complete because I never checked for completeness. At 99 cents, you're not really checking for completeness, are you? Hopefully, hopefully most of these are. We did get a bunch that are sealed, so that should be fine. So I'm gonna bring all of these inside and uh, let you guys know how complete all of these are all right so i have brought everything inside that i purchased you can get a better look at it all here lots of games mostly games today because i didn't have a lot of time to look at any of the other sections didn't realize how fast the time was going by while i was in there everything on this side is brand new sealed besides a few dvds here and the futuramas uh it's sealed up until this point then everything over here is open. I didn't count pieces. I have no idea. Oh, hi, Soph. You haven't been in a video in a while. Do you want to say hi? Hi. All right. And so I, I have no clue how these are going to end up being, but hey, we'll find out soon enough. All right. So we went through all of the games right here. Some are mixed in from other purchases at tag sales, other thrift stores. So. We went through everything, but the ones that we just bought today, these ones were all complete in great condition, ready to be shipped off to Amazon. Right over here, this little pile, is things that were missing a piece or two, and I ordered the replacement pieces on eBay already, so these will be good to go in about a week. These ones over here were missing too many pieces for it to be worth it, but it's okay to sell some of the replacement pieces out of here. Uh, that Clue game is pretty old, 1972. Some of the pieces in there go for decent money. Uh, the Bounce of Bucket is brand new sealed, but for some reason it's missing a basketball. It's supposed to have three balls inside, and it looks like there might have been a factory defect, and it is missing a ball, even though the two are sealed in their own baggie, everything in there is sealed. So I'm not sure what to do with that yet. I might just throw it on eBay. Um, and then the other ones, uh, the Risk game right here, I just wrote some things as missing multiple army of each color. So next time I'm at the thrift store, I only paid 99 cents for this. If I find another one for 99 cents, I'll just grab it. And if it's missing pieces, now I have one complete board game. And then the one thing that wasn't worth it at all is this memory game. It is missing like six pieces in there. The replacement pieces aren't worth anything. It's not gonna be worth it for me to sell it or donate it because I don't want somebody to get a game missing pieces. So this is going in the trash and everything else is good. And then this was all of the sealed stuff. So I didn't even have to really go through it. So everything in here is brand new. And then this is a little bit of a mishmash, some stuff from other thrift pickups that's from a tag sale these are from thrift stores i listed this stuff on ebay already and this don't wake hulk was missing pieces so i listed some of the replacement pieces on ebay so that's good and then this playmobil uh, nativity scene right here was also missing this cover piece right here and that angel's staff everything else was complete in there so i just listed it up on ebay explaining that with some good pictures so not too bad honestly so out of that entire full cart how many were missing pieces it uh, looks like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, if you count the Playmobil and the Hulk. So 12, that's kind of high. Uh, the good thing about it is though, these three, I have replacement pieces on the way, so now we can knock it down to nine that are unsellable. Uh, the electronic basketball might still be sellable. Uh, I might just throw it up on eBay, so now we're down to eight. The other two that were on the table over there, I already listed up on eBay for replacement pieces, so now we're down to six, and then these are 
the five that I might sell replacement pieces out of. I'm not 100% sure yet. And then one that is no good at all. So not, not, not a bad percentage, of course. You know, you're gonna have some duds in there, but all of this is good to go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School, signing out. See ya.